Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hello. How are you? My name is Beth, and nice to meet everybody. Today, I'm going to be going over a little bit of dog training regarding a puppy. So, I have actually been training uh, dogs for 15 years now. I started in 2005, and I focus on raising and training and selling police dogs. I utilize my style of training to work with, uh, with pets and uh, people's companion dogs. And um, I'm very successful in that, in that realm of training where I take what I know for police dogs, modify it as needed for, you know, basic companion dog. And I teach people about training. And a lot of the people are shocked to know that dog training is all about people training. It really is. It's teaching you how to work with your dog. And my dog training is 90% um, teaching the owners what to do, not so much the dog. But today, right now, I'm going to teach you a little bit about what to do with the dog, and we're going to go over a basic sit position with the puppy. I have here with me, this is Sunshine. She has just turned 10 weeks old. Her father's a Dutch Shepherd, and her mother's a Malinois, Belgian Malinois. Both dogs are very successful in um, police work, police training, all kinds of stuff. So her little uh, future here is uh, going to be doing something regarding bite work, and she's already starting that. <laughs> But today we're gonna go over basic sit position. So here we go. Ready? All right, so one of the things that people ask me is how in the world do I get a puppy to stay seated for any duration of time? One of the biggest secrets I learned early on is that Dutch Shepherds, Belgian Shepherds or Malinois, German Shepherds, the Shepherd breed thrives off deprivation. So the more you take it away from them, the more they want it. Like a really good example is a toy example right here where she likes this toy, so if I give it to her, she's gonna want it, okay? But she's, you know, she's pretty, she's just not even actually really biting it that hard. But if I take it away from her, if you let go, and start taking it away, works and what duration is <clears throat> and marking. So I'm going to use a little piece of food to <clears throat> get her to let go here. I have hot dog. I love using rotisserie chicken from Costco but right now I have hot dogs and so that's what we're going to use. Food reward is really 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 important. Okay so the idea behind a food reward is that you can mark your dog's behavior with accuracy and making sure accuracy regarding the food in your dog's mouth, but also timing. So having a soft, squishy piece of food is really important because then your dog can nibble. So if I give her a nibble, that's all she gets, okay? Then another nibble. Now, if I give my dog pieces of food, the problem is now they're chewing, let's say like a, a little piece that you buy at the store, you know, those, little, those little ones. Now your dog is chewing on something or a crunchy, you know, your dog has to crunch through it. The other problem with like little pieces is that if they fall on the ground, now your dog is learning to search the ground after every time you reward the dog. So if you notice with her, she's probably never gonna look at the ground for food because I've never taught her that A, it's okay to eat from the ground if a piece of food drops in training and B, I'm really the only one that rewards her. That ground never gets an opportunity to reward her because I'm using this style of treat giving, treat training. It doesn't leave much room for error. So I'm going to show you here how to get your uh, get your puppy to stay in a sit position using um, the leash and uh, and uh, not using the leash. First things first, how to hold our food. Holding our food really quick. I'll just show you. I have the food in my hand. I'm holding it like this. I have the opportunity now to cover up or give, cover up or give. The more I hold it back, the more my puppy has to dig for it. And so she really is pushing hard and trying to get that food. But if I give her a really big piece and my dog's going to be all sharky and that's when you get bit, that's when, it, that's when you get bit and it really hurts. So not her fault, my fault, but it's really important that you are able to give your dog a treat 
quickly and effectively and so actually nobody gets hurt. Okay, so into the sit position. Two things I'm gonna do with her. I'm gonna lure her into the sit position using my hand with the food and I'm also gonna be using the, um, the leash to talk to her. Dogs are physical creatures. There's a lot of trainers out there that like to do training where you show the dog the treat, you lure the dog into the position, and then you reward the dog with no other means of communication. Okay, that's pretty tough on a dog. Dogs are physical creatures, so I like to use their language. And with a puppy right now, all it is is going to be basic little pressure using the leash and the collar. So by pressure, that means I'm gonna pull up on the collar. Now, as you can see, this leash actually isn't working very well because the collar is up, the leash is upside down. I'm gonna hit her chin. I really, really want to be able to give my dog pressure properly like that. So I'm gonna try to see how well this collar works and if it doesn't, I'll switch out the collar. But for now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lure her into the position using food and using the leash. Okay, so it's really important that I pair the word with the pressure. So it's gonna look like this. And the second she sits, I'm going to release the pressure. That's also one form of a reward, followed by the treat and marking the behavior with the word yes. Also clicker training. I don't like to hold a clicker, but I use my voice yes. And it's the same thing. Yes means food. Yes, food. Yes, food. And she starts developing the association with that development, she starts self-rewarding down the line. So if she's all the way across the football field and I say down and she stops and lays down, instead of me running up to her saying good job, I can mark it. Yes, and she'll self-reward and then she'll come for the secondary reward. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna walk out of this position. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop up gently on the leash and I'm gonna tell her to sit at the same time. Come on, come on, come on, good girl. Okay, pop up gently on the leash. As she sits, I drop that pressure. Okay, good girl, let's go. The other thing too is I'm using the word okay to release her. It's really important your dog has a release command. I teach my dogs one command. They follow one command only. They get one opportunity to respond to my command. I give them one chance. So I teach them from the very beginning. One command, sit in sit, all right? So I give that command and then I also mark it, yes, immediately with food. Um, and so here we go again. I'll show it to you again. This is gonna be really frustrating if I keep, if I keep adjusting this. Right, come on, let's go. Okay, Benny. Sit. Yes. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reinforce her sit position. Yes. You remember what I said earlier? Shepherds thrive off deprivation. The less she gets, because I'm giving her a nibble, the more she's gonna want it. So I'm gonna pair my voice, yes, with food. The other thing is duration, okay? Yes, so I'm gonna take longer and longer between my rewards with her. Yes. Yes. You can also start moving around a little bit. Yes, all right, so let's start over now that you guys know what I'm doing. Okay, let's go. The okay position, oh, that's what I was saying, my dog's stay in the sit position until I tell them another command or until I tell them, okay, or I release them. So I start that training immediately. Come on, come on, good girl, yay. All right, let's do this, this is, uh, okay, let's go. Ready, sit, yes. See how it took her a second to sit? That's because I put more pressure on the leash than I did with my hand. When I realized she wasn't following the, the, the leash and collar pressure, I helped her with my hand. You can rewind that and see what I did. Yes. Other thing is I always try to keep both hands on the leash at all times. Yes. For basic line handling. Yes. Yes, good. I'm reinforcing her sit position. Yes. Good, and I'm also pushing that food into her. Yes. A lot of mistakes people make is they kind of do this and their dog now is standing and I'm rewarding her for standing. Also, they get sharky and they try to grab for the food and that's when your dog also bites your hand and that really it does not feel good. Okay, good girl. I also make sure when I say okay, I pop her up out of that sit position. Ready, sit. Yes. 
Although she understands the command, yes, and I can prove it to you by not giving her any guidance. Yes, I say that word and she does it. I'm teaching her the collar pressure on purpose because it will help us later on down the line. But the whole purpose of training is to phase out all of this. I want my dog to respond with no leash, with no collar, with no incentives, nothing. I tell my dog one command one time she responds without any reason, just because she's been trained to. I don't have a leash to reinforce it and I don't have treats to reinforce it. That's way down the line. That's the ultimate goal. But realistically, I'm always making sure that my dog is reinforced. My seven-year-old trained Malinois was always rewarded when I had an opportunity to do so, but corrected if she also didn't listen. Yes, you're always training your dog. Your dog's never fully trained. If a trainer ever tells you that they can get your dog fully trained, they're lying. Your dog will never, ever, ever be fully trained. You're always training. You're always using everything as maintenance training. You're continuing the process, yes, all the time. Yes, it's always a work in progress. Okay, yay! So now what I'm gonna do is show you that she knows what this looks like, and I'm gonna start bringing in space. Okay, sit, yes! Okay, so this is where I know I can drop my leash because she's proving to me she's really solid in the sit position. Yes, yes, good. Now this is only the second day we've really been working on this. Yes, okay. Notice I'm not saying the word stay. I purposely don't use the word stay. Remember what I said earlier? Yes, my dogs get one command. I don't say their name. I don't build them up. I don't get their attention first. They learn right here. Yes, her attention's on me. They learn one command. Stay is a second command. Yes. So by the time my dog learns this, Sit. Oh, and I don't do hand signals either. Hand signals are super, super easy for a dog to read. They naturally read body language. Yes. Okay. Good girl. Because I naturally, naturally read body language, I start with the hardest and I continue with the hardest. I, I use no body language at all. The only body language I use is the, is the leash, which I phase out. Um, the reason I don't use hand signals is because the second my dog starts depending on those, I lose my dog when they're around a corner and they can't see me, or they're too far away and they can't see me. The second they can't see me, all of a sudden my dog doesn't know what to do. So I'd rather my dog be rock solid on words. Okay? So I don't use body language and I don't use the word stay because by the time this happens, sit, stay, stay, Stay. Stay. Good stay. Good stay. Good stay. Yay, good stay. <laughs> All of a sudden, sit, stay, 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 and sit. No. Yes, my dog learned sit and sit. So that way, when my dog is running across the street to chase the ball and there's a car coming and I tell my dog, down, my dog better drop and let that car pass safely. Not down, stay, stay, stay. Okay. All right. Come on, look like a girl. So the final, the final little picture of tonight's little training looks like this. Okay. Good girl. Sit. Yes. Yes. No. Sit. No reward for that. See, I'm trying to get further and further away, yes, away from her. The second I see her lose that focus, I try to get it back on me. Yes, and I'm not going to push her too much longer because I can tell reading her body language, she's getting a little tired, so it's mm -hmm. getting hard on her. Yeah. Okay, yay, good girl, sunshine. And I would much rather break her for her before she breaks herself. Good job, sunshine. You're so good. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you.